Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 37 of the Rosebud Challenge. Uh, we are exec essentially picking up where we left off. Uh, Juliet is talking to the toilet, as we do. So let me see what she needs to do. She needs to earn a high score on the typing game, so I'm just going to have her... I think the reason I wasn't having her do that was because I wanted... I didn't have her go swim. In our pond, our created oh, pond, and Ryan is having some ice cream because he's hungry. And so he's planted, so we'll have him do that. And why don't we have him? Why don't we have him go over here and watch the cooking channel to get his cooking up a little bit while he hopefully he keep, takes his ice cream with him because I didn't mean for him not to eat it. And uh, now Eden, you're not gonna weed. Did you write your book? Oh, I didn't have... Maybe I didn't put her on. I hope... I'll put her on best-selling author. And I'm going to have her... I am going to have her go do some exercising. I'm going to have her do the brain-boosting yoga routine. And... Jeremy, you need to... Not research gardening, thank you. I want you to write. You're going to resume writing Mirror Smear on the Wall. And you're going to listen to... There's so much choice with this. Listen to... I wonder whether romantic music makes them flirty. I've never really listened to it very much. So we're going to have him listen to romantic music. He wants to publish three books. That came up right at the end of the last part. Which, of course, I don't know whether the submitting to the Literary Digest counts for that. But um, I don't know when we'll be able to submit to the Literary Digest next anyways. But I like to put my bestsellers <laughs> to submit them to the Literary Digest. But you only do that once a week. So she's going hey, to do that. And then I'm going to have her have a... Have her have, her have a thoughtful shower. And then she can write... Resume writing the book she was writing before. And she can listen to... It was romance that we had him listening to. Romantic music. And is he finished eating? No, he is not. Ryan is still eating. I did change his outfits uh, in between the parts. So this is just one of his everyday outfits. I kind of just left. Oh, she's using chopsticks to eat the sushi. Sushi looks quite nice, actually. You know, for a game, for a game, there's the ginger and the wasabi. And uh, that looks like tuna nigiri or maguro. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know how to spell it, and it, I know it's one of my favorite types of sushi. Though I, when I make it, I just make the maki or the rolls, because my youngest likes California roll, so that's pretty much what I make when I make sushi. Which it's a nice treat. So she wants to listen to talk radio station, and she's going to go wash her dishes, and she's still at level. She doesn't seem to be swimming. Maybe it's hard to swim. Maybe the pool doesn't actually work for swimming. I'm going to send her to swim again and see if she swims. Because I do have the fish in here. But I think this one might be backwards. Because <laughs> <the laughs> I think this sign is backwards. I don't think you can fish. I'll have to go into... Um, I have to use move objects on to place it, so I'd have to put move objects on. So maybe after this part's over, I'll, I'll go in and edit it and and move it. Now, can she swim? She doesn't seem to be swimming very long when I tell her to swim. And normally they swim and swim and swim and swim and swim a lot. When you tell them to swim. Okay, I'm going to pause this. You know what? After she's finished swimming, I'm going to go let her practice, play the typing game. Because I'm going to have Ryan listen to music. I don't really care what you listen to. Baroque is fine. And then you can harvest everything, and then you can water. There. There you go. Get working on that aspiration. And you are doing as you were told. Because they don't always listen. And maybe we can enthuse about the new show with uh, 
Eden when she comes out from having her shower. I don't know if I have them set up to do the same computer. I will set her up here. Just because I, I couldn't tell what computer and I didn't remember. <coughs> Excuse me, what computer I set her on. So, so Ryan's reached guarding level two. And... So there's the typing game. So does she do well? Does that mean she has 80 in her score? No, she got that one wrong. I've never really watched them play the typing game. Anyways, and there's the little word document in Simlish gibberish. Oh, Ryan's level three. How's he doing with with his gardening over there? And he's hungry, so we'll let him. I guess I guess the ice cream didn't really stick with him. Assuming he did actually eat it. Oh, he says he had a delicious dish from eating food, so I'm thinking he did eat it. It just didn't stick with him. Oh, he never even finished planting everything. Plant. And I'm going to just quickly check these frogs because a little bit of time has gone by. Really flower. I really want him to stay up. I don't want him to go to sleep. But I don't don't want to overdo the rallying the troops. But I might because I want him to do some programming. I think it's almost time to get a new computer. Like not a new, a fourth computer. I just would like to manage with what we have for now. At least for today. And let's look at Ryan. He has done all of them, so we can. I see that evolving is now one of the things he needs to do. And I see a bunch of glittering things that need to be evolved. Evolve. I think I already picked that one. One, two, three. Assuming he does them all and is able to do them, there's six. Is he still watering? Oh, he's planting, right? Because I told him to plant. Will he plant them both? That's the question. They're supposed to plant everything that's, you know, in the area, the range, but I have noticed sometimes that they don't. So we're going to have him water that also to get them on a healthier start. That's a normal plant. Oh. And let's oh check. So Jeremy wrote, and it was not a bestseller. But he's hungry, so why don't you go and have... Why don't you have some sushi? And then when you're finished, I forgot that I was going to have him talk to Eden. You're going to sell to publisher this mirror smear on the wall because it's only excellent and not a bestseller. Oh, okay. Why don't you do that first since you kind of just reset yourself and didn't do anything. There, go re go publish that and then you can come and eat your food. Or you can pick up your food and do them both at the same time. That's fine. And you're gonna go and Enthuse about, let's find that enthuse about new show. There it is. And we have a full notification wall. And he did publish it and Ryan is level four, of course, because that's how he, oh no, so he should be at the next level, Ryan, where he needs to, oh, he has to evolve another plant. Maybe he reset and didn't evolve, didn't get to the ones. Because there's a ton. You know, you've watered enough. Zooming through the levels. The uh, club really helps them level up quickly. So I'm going to fertilize with... Oh, right. I was going to put the fish in his inventory. 
from Eden. So I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna put the salmon in Ryan's inventory. And what else do I have that's of any use? I'll put the cichlid in his inventory and I will check Jeremy's. What he has, he has a rainbow fish, which is decent. You know, val in value, and the more valuable it is, the better it's supposed to be. He also has a salmon, and he has a tilapia. So we'll put those all in Ryan's inventory. Hopefully that took, because I kind of started going across the, uh, and he's very hungry. We're going to fertilize now. We're going to fertilize that with a cichlid. We're going to fertilize the rosebud, rose bush, with, um, hmm... I guess I should have sold some of the things out of his inventory <laughs> with the salmon and we're gonna fertilize the dragon fruit because we want it to increase even better it is excellent which is good but uh, well it's actually excellent <laughs> which is valuable is what I meant to say and there's a tilapia and there's a dragon fruit so we can fertilize that one that we just planted and I don't know if we've used that salmon and fertilize. I'm sure that's the salmon we just ran by. I don't think we've used the rainbow fish. So he needs to be at five before you can graft onto the plants. And I think, I don't know how many snapdragons we have. Cause if you have snapdragons and take a cutting from a dragon fruit and graft it on, which I'm sure we've already done here, we get so he's fertilized. So we're done. So he can go have... He can have the rack of lamb because there's some of there's a fair amount of it. And he can continue to watch the cooking channel. And I will put this ice cream bowl away and hopefully it doesn't reset anybody. And, oh, you both want to woohoo in a bush so we can keep that. Did that... Publishing the book didn't count. Did he actually publish? I think he did. Sell to publisher. Yeah, he did. So I'm going to get rid of that because it doesn't seem to be tracking when I actually work on it. He wants to listen to S Pop and he wants to t propose a crazy scheme. Well, for now, why don't we have you do a painting? Oh, or maybe we should have you go to bed because it's 4 o'clock in the morning. You know what, because we've been up all night, we're going to actually do a rallying of the troops. But then you are actually going to go to bed. That's just because I think um, Ryan's in pretty rough shape. Well, actually, he's not. Or unless it's already registered the rallying of the troops. And Juliet, you know, it's late. You, you do want to talk to Jeremy, so why don't we uh, brighten day and... You want to tell a joke, so we can do that also. Funny joke about gross foods, and then you are going to bed. I just did the rallying of the troops so that hopefully they'll actually be... And that was not... So we're going to sell the publisher because the book she just did was not a bestseller. Excellent. It was excellent though, but not a bestseller. And then you're going to also go to sleep. And we'll put a few of these away. Waiting for the garbage to turn green so I can put the next one away in the sink. Put it in the sink in the garbage. And now, Ryan, what are you doing? <sighs> Honestly, if you're going to do anything, I would rather you practice programming. I'm wondering how close he is to getting his A. So I was thinking of keeping him home from school. It's not like I'm in a rush for him to become an A student. It would be nice for him to become an A student, but he doesn't have to do it urgently. So he's... Because he's going to work. He's going to do work at home. He's going to work on his skills at home. So... We're going to go back to practicing programming. I don't mind if he researches gardening. <laughs> and we are going to listen to... He doesn't care what he listens to, so he's going to listen to New Age, because that can make them focused. Which is good when you're programming. And also good when you're going to high school. 
So I'm going to swing, swimming him, put him back on the computer whiz. I know he is definitely has a knowledge aspiration. I'm not sure which of the ones, but we'll start. We'll work on computer whiz right now. <laughs> so he is practicing programming and listening. And so while he has the uh, focus mood lap from the music, this is, these are all, this seems to override it. And I've said this time and time again, I have no well, idea so why. I mean, I guess because it's fast, that's why it makes you energized. But given that that trait makes you good at writing <laughs> and programming and I think video gaming, energized doesn't really fit with any of those three things. Focus fits with two and obviously <laughs> being inspired fits with the other. But if you're going to have something dri drive it, I would think it should be focused or nothing. Anyways, so we're going to... I don't remember when it was. I'm thinking it's too soon to breed the frogs, but just in the, and I'm wrong. It, it isn't too soon to breed the frogs. You can we can breed them again. So I am going to do so. Breed the frog. And one of the reasons I'm keeping him home today, keeping Ryan home today, is that Tuesdays is the day where they sometimes have the festival. I, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't know if this works. If I don't know if he, because in the, in the apartments they have those bulletin boards and then you can know ahead of time that there's a festival coming up. And I know they have like little um, banners and stuff, but I think they maybe just line up, light up when it's happening, not necessarily in advance of it happening. So while I know there is, the Geek Con is on Tuesdays during the day. It ends, I think, at 3. And I think it starts at 10. Um... It can be random. It's not every week. So it may or may not be this week. But that's kind of why I'm keeping him home in case it is this week. Because I'd like him to actually participate in it. But I'm trying to get him to get some programming skill before. I'm going to check his traits. Which traits to get him. Uh, that I want to get him more. The most. He has Shameless already. He has 2,000 points. So I could either get him... I'll get him Night Owl. And even though I don't think they kick in right away, I'll get the Morning Sim. That'll help him tomorrow. And... We'll go fast. And see how that goes. So... He's done one of five hours. And he's level two of programming skill. Mm -hmm. And he has to go to the bathroom. Oh, she's getting late, so I can just slow it down because Juliet needs to get up. So I want to quickly check her needs. I think I will have her take a shower. Is she going to get up? Yep. And he's level three. We just had a little bit of a slow down because it was about to pop up with the fact that Ryan had reached level three of programming. And Eden is hungry, and Jeremy really just needs to have a quick wash up. Oh, that shower is dirty. Jeremy, seriously, I found out about this concert at an underground abandoned warehouse in the fashion district. It's neat, but you know, I sent him on one of the things and didn't even get a mood let for going. All he did was disappear and come home. It'd be nice if they had some type of mood let, like to, you know. Let's work for the fact that they did it. So she is hungry, so she's going to actually start the day with ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Very healthy ice cream. Taste to diet, because that's what I want her to have. And then we are going to have a rallying of the troops, which is primarily necessary if we end up going to the oh, yeah. festival. If we don't end up going to the festival, well, he could have gone to sleep, because I don't really intend to keep him up all day otherwise. So Juliet's <laughs> off to school. And Ryan's just saying, he's hoping the contest is today. So she's going to oh, eat. Boom. Yeah, but noosh. Boom is bizarre. So the festivals are in, <laughs> take place in three of the neighborhoods in San Maishino. The uptown district, the uptown area, they don't have any festivals there. Uh, Not sure why, but that just is the way it is. What is this? She wants to practice dancing in a floor mirror. Of course, because she also is... She wants to dance to stereo music. Wait I don't know if that'll last. Dust. 
But that'll stay. Uh, I'm going to minimize Zoya. this out of the way uh, so we can actually see what's going on uh, on the screen. Uh, oh. I don't know why he's talking about himself. Now he's talking about a dresser. And she's getting brain freeze from her ice cream with the strawberries and chocolate. <laughs> and what is Jeremy doing? He is fishing. Okay. Why don't you practice programming too? Well, you already can do programming. You don't need to practice programming. You can start freelance. You know what? Never mind. Why don't you actually write? Write genre book. Um, mystery. And then you can listen. Was this S pop? Yes, listen to S pop. Listen to oh, every man in town. That's fine. Listen to. Well, so far there's not been any notification. Oh, I missed it. It was right there. I noticed the pop on the right hand side, but S pop was on the bottom. Right there. <laughs> and we're not buying an instrument. I could. Oh, it is! We got it! The Geek Con is in town, so we can go. But I think we're going to end. This is going to be. Last episode was. Last part was quite long. But. Uh, and this one is. You know, it's been a reasonable length, but I think if we started to go to GeekCon, it would be really, really loud. Really, really loud. Really, really long is what I mean to say. So I think we're going to stop this at this point. But what I will do is when we um, we start with the next part, we will be at the GeekCon Festival. So I will move them over to there so that uh, that's where they are when we start up next time. But that's it for this part. Thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time at GeekCon. Thanks. Bye.